Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I drew this cute little Robin's eye. This video is full time and I hope this short video can help you improve drawing bird eyes. So I started with sepia from Prismacolor to start outlining the corner of the eye but then decided to not do that and I went in with white to block in the reflection and lighter areas. These areas are slightly above the bottom of the eye and just below the bright reflection you can see in the reference photo. I'm using a medium to hard pressure when doing this just so the tooth of the paper becomes slightly damaged. I didn't need to work on this part as long as I did, but for some reason that day it took me a little longer than normal to block in these areas. Now I'm going back in with sepia and outlining the rest of the outer eye using a light touch. And after this is completed, I went around the reflection in the eye just so it stands out. This can also be a nice reminder to not put any color there at this time because you do not want that. It's time to start the base layers. Going in with 10% warm gray, I layered that down all over the eye first. I'm using a light touch and small circles. I started with going around the reflection and then worked my way down the outer edge and then around the upper edge before going into the center of the eye. I did this a few times to make sure that the base is all covered. Looking closely at my reference photo, I can see a hint of brown in the light areas of the eye. For this, I used Chocolate Brown from Prismacolor. This brown has to be one of my favorites in the Prismacolor set. I'm just loosely putting this down in the areas that need it. It doesn't have to look perfect. I then go over these layers with white to blend and smooth them together. To help make some of the areas of the eye darker, I go in with 20% warm gray and 30% warm gray. These areas are mainly in the center of the eye and around the edges. You really want the eye to look like it's round and glossy looking and not flat. These colors can help with that. Remember to take your time and not to rush anything and make sure you are paying close attention to your reference photo. Using a medium pressure on my 30% warm gray, I'm trying to make the edges of that gray blend smoothly into the brown. I then went in with indigo blue to help give more depth in the darker areas. I did not add the color in all over. I left the areas that you can see the brown reflection untouched. At this time, the eye will absolutely look funny, but you have to push through it because the end results are going to turn out wonderful. Yes, you can skip this step if you want to, but I am so glad that I didn't because at the end of it all, it helped make this eye look very realistic. Going back in with chocolate brown, I added more pressure to the pencil to make sure you can really see that brown area in the eye. This can also help blend the edge of the blue more smoothly together with that brown color. 
Then I went over all of that with 10% warm gray again to just help the colors blend together even more. The next part is really when you can see this cute little robin's eye come together. Starting around the edges and then a little into the center and under the eye, I just added in 90% warm gray. Adding this color just made that indigo blue even better than it was before and you can see that it was made to be there. I'm really focusing on the reference photo at this time and I'm taking my time because I want to make sure I put that 90% in the correct areas in and around the eye so that way it looks glossy and realistic. The eyes are the most important part of the drawing and that's why I like to start with them first. This is because it can pull a person into the drawing a lot more and I feel like you can really see the personality of each animal and it just makes it come to life. Starting with the eyes also makes me want to continue working on the drawing even more. I also feel like you are looking into the soul of this cute little animal. Once again, I'm going back in with that chocolate brown around the edges of the 90% that I just put down just to make sure they blend seamlessly together. Finally, I feel like it's time to take the leap of faith and go in with black. With black, I'm just tracing out the steps I did with 90% gray, but I'm focusing more on the outer eye and in the center just because those areas are the darkest spots in the reference photo. At this time I'm using a hard pressure to make sure those areas are as dark as they can be. I'm also going between circles and lines in different directions so they stay nice and smooth. I go back in with 10% warm gray just to make sure the lighter areas can still be seen and blend the edges of the black into that area just slightly. Now I'm going in with light blue. This color will be going into that white reflection. In the reference photo, there is a hint of blue in that area, and as you can see, it's just too white to stay the way it is. So going in with that blue will help pull the eye together. I then go in with sand yellow into the brown areas on the eye just because I feel like the gray has dulled the brown area down a lot. This will help the eye out so much. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you out in the future with drawing a robin's eye or any small bird eye. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button down below. I will be following up with the rest of the robin when it is completed, so I'll see you later.